How's it going everyone? Welcome to the second video of Advanced Goalie Tips. I have some clips of some big saves I made in the first round of the LG playoffs. I'm going to share what my thought process was for these saves because all of the high-end goalie work is done before the shot or the pass happens and these videos should help out with the thinking aspect of goalie. If you guys have any comments about these videos or any goalie questions, feel free to ask because I want to make sure that these tip videos are the absolute best for you guys. That first save you just saw was definitely the save of the game in my opinion, and what I did on the controller is just as important as the read that I had to make. After yellow gets burnt, our 2 on 1 becomes a 2 on 0, which is never a goalie's fault, but we still have to do our best, you know, just to try and make the save. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we have the shot covered. The puck carry is always our first priority. So I move to the left and I make sure that my pads are just ahead of that post to cover the sharp angle short side shot. We all know how, uh, how tough that is for goalies in this game. And to move across the crease, I use the butterfly push. That's the left stick and butterfly. And as my goalie slides over, I press the post button for a post lean. And you'll notice that my goalie stops his slide right at the post instead of over sliding. In this play, I started with the stand up post tug because it is a sharp angle. We need to make sure that short side is covered, but also because if there's nobody near my crease, I don't have to worry about protecting the low part of the net, you know, from a pass out in front, or even if he shoots it, there's no one there to, you know, protect the, to shoot for the rebound. As he curls back up to the circle, it's just like what we went over in the last video. We should already see who the open man is for the one timer at this point. And the important thing is to move our positioning so that we are centered to the shooter. Now that sounds very obvious, but a mistake a lot of goalies make is that they see the puck moving side to side and they react by doing the same thing. They think that they have to move side to side as well instead of lining up with the shot. And what happens is you end up over sliding and you leave yourself very vulnerable to a cross grain shot, which luckily in this clip Teal was able to block for me. So I'm just going to say this again because it is pretty important. On point shots, we need to make sure that we are centered to the shot. So you can make the save if the shot goes to either side, the left or our right. And notice how I went out to challenge the shooter. Anytime the shooter is able to step into the shot like this, their accuracy and their power increase a lot. Our goalie is not going to have much time to react for the save. So we need to make ourselves as big as possible in the crease to avoid getting sniped up high. This last save is about knowing when not to be aggressive in the crease. The half boards, it's a very low percentage shot. You don't have to worry about him scoring from there. There's nobody in front of me for a deflection. You know, playing at or probably just ahead of that post is perfectly fine. Uh, now, to be honest, this pass caught me slightly off guard. But because I was in a good starting position, I didn't have to cover a lot of distance in the crease. And I was able to make the save with just the left stick. As I said before, almost all of the goalie work is planning ahead before the shot or the pass happens, so I'm hoping these videos help out with that. Like, comment, and subscribe for more goalie tips. Any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. As I said, I want to make sure that I give the best goalie tips possible for you guys, so your feedback is very helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.